Hey everybody, Appliance Guy Online here. Today I want to show you a test that I came up with to test the 2005 Isuzu NPR 5.2 liter four cylinder turbo diesel engine. <clears throat> this test is going to test the fuel injectors for backflow um, or pressure buildup. Basically, I was having a problem with my NPR. Actually, this one is a GMC W3500, uh, but it's the same thing as the Isuzu NPR. I was having a problem with my truck, and the problem was it would not start without starting fluid. If I didn't use starting fluid, I would try to start it and it would just crank and crank and crank but it would not start. So what I did was I came up with a test to test the backflow of each fuel injector. And the way that I did that was I took a old fuel line that I had. And what I did was I cut one end of it off and the end that I cut off of it was the end that hooks up to the common rail which is right there I was suspecting that I was having a problem with one of the injectors not allowing enough fuel pressure to build to start the engine and actually I was correct with my suspicion so again what I did was I took an old fuel line that I had and I cut one end of it off and what I did was I made a cap and you can actually see it there so this is the side that I cut off and actually what I did was I took a hammer and I just hammered that side so no fuel could come through there and then I capped each fuel line going to each injector one at a time and then I attempted to start it. So my first three attempts were cylinder injector one, two, and three. And after I capped each one off and attempted to start it, it didn't change anything. It still would not allow the engine to start and what was happening was it wasn't allowing enough fuel pressure to build in the common rail and the fuel system to start the engine when I tested the fourth cylinder injector which is this one I put my cap on this one and left the other three hooked up and I attempted to start it and actually it started right up without starting fluid When it started right up, that confirmed my suspicion of there being one or more bad fuel injectors. And the reason being is that the fuel injector was not allowing enough fuel pressure to build to start the engine. When I attempted to start it and it wouldn't start without starting fluid, I could crank it and crank it and crank it and it just would not start. But if I put one drop of starting fluid in it, it started, it idled, it revved up, it ran great, it had power, it pulled, it didn't smoke. The engine ran great. It just would not start without starting fluid. Um, so again, to summarize, what I did was I took an old fuel line, I cut one end of it off, and I made a cap. After I made that cap, I capped each fuel injector fuel line one at a time and attempted to start it. And on my fourth test, testing the fourth cylinder injector, after I capped that one off, the engine started right up. Uh, granted, it didn't run perfectly. It, it, it sounded like it was missing. It was shaking a lot, but it confirmed my suspicion of a bad injector. So, 
again, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a set of four injectors and that will fix my no start, hard start, uh, won't start without starting fluid problem. Um, I hope this helps somebody else out uh, diagnosing your hard start, no start, uh, won't start without starting fluid problem. Um, follow me for more great videos. Uh, my next video is going to be how to install the fuel injectors on this Isuzu NPR. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.